Hello everyone, hope you all are doing well. In this video, we will discuss the last problem of Leap Code Weekly Contest 298. The problem name is Selling Pieces of Wood. Uh, again, it's a hard level problem. So, the problem statement says that uh, we are given two integers m and n that represents the height and width of a rectangular piece of wood. Uh, we are also given a 2D integer array prices where prices of i is uh, contains hi wi and price of i indicating that we can sell a rectangular piece of wood of height hi and wi for price this much so it basically says that given an m cross n a rectangular piece and given some uh, the price of some uh, pieces like for example if the height and width of this piece is uh, the given piece then uh, this is the price for that so uh, an array of prices is given so it says that to cut a piece of wood you must take a vertical or horizontal cut across the entire height or weight of the piece to split it into two smaller pieces now after cutting a piece of wood into smaller uh, into some number of smaller pieces you can sell pieces according to prices uh, you may sell multiple pieces of the same shape and you do not have to sell all the shapes the grain of the wood makes a difference so you cannot uh, rotate a piece uh, to swap its height, height and width so that means obviously we can't rotate it uh, we just need to keep the wood as it is so return the maximum money you can earn after cutting m cross n piece of wood uh, note that you can cut the pieces of wood as many times as you want so let's look into the example so this is a grid uh, three rows and five columns and these are the prices it says that one cross four a wood of one cross four will cost can be sold at a price of two uh, a wood of uh, a piece of two cross two can be sold at a price of seven and so on so here we can see different colors in the diagram so that the diagram show uh, shows a possible scenario it consists of two pieces of wood shaped two cross two so this one and this one two cross two so obviously this will give us 14 dollars so it is 14 now if we look into the remaining diagram then one piece of wood uh, one piece of wood shape two cross one so here we can see two rows on one column so this is the yellow part that will give us three dollars and again one piece of wood shape one cross four so this one the light blue one so that will again give us, it give us two dollars now this one is the remaining one so obviously we can leave this part so the total money that we can obtain from this one is 19 dollars uh, that is the maximum amount that we can obtain uh, the other possibilities will obviously not lead a result uh, that is greater than 90. If we look into the second example, though again similarly, it's a 4 cross 6 wooden piece, and these are the prices. So, one of the possible scenarios is shown that okay, we can cut three pieces of 3 cross 2, giving us $30, and uh, we can we can cut uh, a wood of 1 cross 4, giving us uh, giving us $2. So, now we get $32 finally. Uh, uh, the constraints are that a wooden piece can be. Uh, can have maximum uh, dimension of 200 cross 200 the prices the number of prices that we can have is 2 raised to 10 to the power 4 2 into 10 raised to the power 4 and obviously this will be 3 and all uh, the prices can go up to 10 raised to the power 6 and all the shapes of wood are pairwise distinct that means uh, obviously for the same dimension you cannot cannot have two prices if that would have been there then obviously we would have used the maximum uh, maximum one of the two prices that were given but in this case we have distinct one so let's try to understand it how we can approach this problem uh, so this is a typical dynamic programming problem uh, so generally we have a, a so a popular problem is rod cutting problem where you have a rod and what you do is that again you have so suppose the length of the rod is l again i think we have some lag this time okay, okay. the length of the rod is l and uh, we are given some prices that okay if the length is one then if you sell it you get x amount if the length is two you get y amount and so on so given this rod you can cut it into pieces and you need to return that what is the maximum amount that you can get after selling this rod so this question is basically an extension of the rod cutting problem here we have two dimensions here we have a rectangle grid we have some sort of grid and we need to cut it uh, so that uh, based on the given prices we get the maximum value now again if so what the problem says either we can cut uh, the wood uh, horizontally or we can cut it vertically right these are the two possibilities now if we look into this 
then we can see that if if this is the grid just a second <laughs> the shape of the grid was not good <laughs> so if this is the grid and if we cut the grid horizontally then what will happen suppose the height of the grid is h and width is w so if we cut it at a uh, at suppose this is x just taking an example suppose this is x then what we can do we can calculate the maximum amount we can get from this one by selling this one right by selling this part and by selling this part right now what is the maximum value we can get so suppose we, we take an array we can take a matrix suppose this is dp of what is the height of this one it is x what is the width width is w only right what is the maximum amount that we can get from here it is dp of what is the height the total height what was h i x has been allocated to this part so this is h minus x what is the width is w right so these are the two things so that means if we cut from here the maximum amount that we can get is dp of dp of this is just one of the possibilities uh, dp of h minus x dp of w plus dp of x dp of w this is the current value that we can get now we obviously have a previous value as well that is dp of h comma w so we take the max of these two dp of h comma w and dp of this now we can do this for every possible value of x right we can cut it from here we can cut it from here and so on similarly we can cut it vertically as well so if we look into the vertical case let's come down just a second yeah if we cut it vertically so i'll i'll make the grid again so if we cut it vertically uh, let's let's make just one line so height is h width is w suppose this is y so what will be the maximum value that we can get from here it will be dp of what is the height height is h what is the width width is y right now what is the value we can get from here it is dp of height is again h what is width total width was w minus y because this is y this whole is w so this one is w minus y right so here we can see the uh, these uh, the, the sum of these two values so again dp of h comma w will be equal to maximum of dp of h comma w comma this particular value so that means the problem says that the solution will be given a grid given a grid check for all possible cuts that you can make horizontally or vertically and pick the maximum values among those right for each cut we can calculate what is the value given this formula for column and the above formula for row and finally we return the final answer like the final value that we get for h comma w now let's look into the implementation uh, i would say pretty straightforward for this one just an extension problem of, of i would say of a for the end uh, If, if we come to the code then we can see that we have uh, allocated a dp array of of uh, m plus one comma n plus one uh, just a second let's remove this one i was trying out different solutions uh, yeah so just a small one uh, what what we have done now for each price uh, we say that so uh, the, the question says that uh, for for given wi and hi this is the price right uh, sorry for hi and wi this is the price now that means for that particular cut this will be the maximum amount that we can get right so we have initialized our dp array by the values of the prices that we were given now we need to manipulate the dp array uh, using the logic that we use now for each width and for each height what we will do 
we will travel we will try to cut it vertically and horizontally now what what will be the cuts if we look into the weight what will be the cuts so that those will be uh, current current width current width here is uh, current height here is w i think the nomenclature here is a little bit different <laughs> so uh, we go from 1 to w by 2 and we cut it in 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 which uh, direction we cut it we cut it in in the uh, form of a uh, height uh, i've just taken it here uh, in the other way like the rows and columns are swapped but it will give the same result because again the dimensions are changed so in, instead of that uh, everywhere we are considering row as columns and columns are rows so the just the variable name is a little bit confusing so uh, here the width goes from 1 to m or rather the height goes from 1 to n and the width goes from 1 to n and then we check for all the possible cuts in the direction of height so now what we do uh, for i a equals to 1 and then a goes less than equal to w by 2 because obviously as 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 we cross w by 2 plus 1 it is the values are repeated right so you don't need to do that like for example if 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 you have a value of 10 right so you calculate the values of 1 2 3 4 and 5 right because when you cal when you calculate the value of 1 you are calculating the values of 1 and 9 right when you are calculating the value of 2 you are calculating the value of 2 and 8 now as soon as you cross 5 what will happen you will be calculating the value of 6 and 4 but you have already calculated that in the form of 4 and 6 so no need to repeat it so that is why we are making w by 2 now again as discussed in the diagram dp of w comma h will be dp of w comma h comma dp of a comma h that means if this is the new height and this is the remaining height, right? So that means we are cutting it horizontally uh, as discussed in the first case. So this is the case where we are cutting the board horizontally. This is the case we are cutting the board vertically because now what we are doing? We are going from A is equals to 1 to less than H by 2. Now it will be W comma H and then the, again the height is same. You are cutting it vertically. So the new width is A, right? The new width is A. And the, rem the remaining width will be h minus a. So finally, uh, once we do it for all the all the possible values, we get our answer in dp of m cross uh, m m cross n. So yeah, I would say a, a basic dp stuff uh, that. Uh, uh, but yeah, a, a multi uh, on a multi-dimensional array. So yeah, I I hope you learned something new from this video. Do support it by giving up a thumbs up. Do subscribe to the channel and and also if you have any any queries, then do post that into the comments. I'll I'll try to resolve each and every one. Thank you. Bye bye.